Theater has been open for 103 years. We have all sorts of performances. Most of them are musical in nature, a lot of world music, some folk shows, although um, some pop and rock, and uh, we have the occasional play, we have burlesque, um, all sorts of different kinds of live shows. Probably the highest profile ones were U2 playing here in 2009 and uh, Bruce Springsteen played two shows here in 2003, so those are kind of the more famous ones that uh, have occurred here, but we have uh, regular recurring shows. Every December we have the Slutcracker, which is a burlesque version of the Nutcracker here, and that's immensely popular. They're going into their 10th year now. We also occasionally get uh, pop stars on their way up. Uh, we had Adele play here just before she hit it big and the same thing years ago with Nora Jones. Um, so we get a really a wide variety of, of acts that come through here. We choose the movies, or I choose the movies, by working with a, we have a film buyer who negotiates with the studios. And it's not like a jukebox. A lot of people are under that misconception that you just pick whatever movies you want and play them for however long you want. But it's really, uh, the studios are dictating what's available to you and how long you have to play it, and even really, uh, it's implied how much we should charge for them, and we try and charge the least amount of possible uh, so that it remains affordable for folks. We do have a silent film series, which uh, we usually do around 10 titles per year. Uh, it's called Silence, Please, and we show archival uh, silent movies on 35 millimeter film on our big screen, and we have an organist, Jeff Rapsis, who's a very talented uh, musician, comes in and does all of his original scores for these movies. 35 millimeter and certainly 70 millimeter is a much higher quality picture than you'll get on digital. When we show a classic movie, we want to show it on film because that's how the director intended it to be seen. When they made Casablanca, they made it on film to be shown on film. And so that's the way it's meant to be seen. So when we show a classic movie, we want to show it in its native format. And, uh, you know, film is the way to do that. And 70 millimeter really was the highest quality uh, film uh, projection and filming that you can use. It's just the picture quality is unbelievable. And we just had our 70 millimeter festival in September and people were just bowled over by it. We had the only existent 70 millimeter print of Sleeping Beauty, the Disney movie, you know, Lawrence of Arabia, 2001, A Space Odyssey, things like that. That's how those movies were meant to be seen. The, the brightness and the clarity of the picture in 70mm is unbelievable. And the Hateful Eight is a testament to that. Not everybody liked the movie The Hateful Eight, but almost everybody came out of those screenings saying that was an experience. And how do you get people to go to the movies in the age of Netflix and Amazon and all that type of stuff? Well, you give them that experience, something they really cannot get at home. And to see a classic movie in a theater like this, which is built for it, when the curtain rises and the lights go down and it's on film, bright and clear, that's just, to me, how you get people to go to the movies. That's how it's magical. I mean, I am uh, 40, and when I was a kid, going to the movies was very magical to me. And for my parents, the same thing. Well, kids today have video games and everything else, and you have the internet to draw them away. How do you show a kid that it's special? Well, you're not going to really have that special experience in a multiplex that has no soul, and it's kind of generic. Here, you know, when we turned 100, we have a centennial celebration. We showed The Wizard of Oz a beautiful Technicolor print of The Wizard of Oz. If you're a kid sitting in that auditorium, you might have seen The Wizard of Oz on TV or even on your phone or on DVD, but there's nothing like sitting with an audience in a big, beautiful theater and the lights go down, the curtain opens, and that movie comes on. You realize why the movies are the most popular art form worldwide, because that is magical. And other theaters have really dropped that, and so we try and maintain that.